pulled together from pipes and a panel, make this super stylish industrial bench. Industrial's in, and this bench is a great way to incorporate it into almost any space. I love the mix of the hard and the soft, the rawness of the pipes with the texture of the seating. Start by creating the base. Clean your pieces up with some mineral spirits before you start, and then you're basically just making two H shapes. You can find the exact diagram for the pieces and parts in the detailed directions. This is really simple. You don't need any special tools because the pipes truly just twist together. Once you have the two H's, you join them with a span of long pipe and you've got a base. You may need to make some little adjustments to make sure it sits level. And then you can just leave the pipes natural or give the whole base a coat of spray paint. Now it's time for the bench. Have Lowe's cut two pieces of MDF to size and then glue those together. Next, glue a couple of supports lengthwise and you really can just eyeball this. No special measurements. They're just to make the bench a little sturdier. Use some painter's tape to hold the supports in place to dry. The padding for the cushion is plain old carpet pad. You'll cut four layers to size, and then you want to give those a little trim, holding your scissors at a 45 degree angle. That'll create a beveled edge so the seat doesn't look square and boxy. Now you can stack the layers of padding and the MDF onto some drop cloth. Trim that so it's about six inches larger than the bench. You don't want all this colorful padding to show through your final fabric, so the drop cloth makes a nice, sturdy barrier. You want a good, taut cover on the bench, so pull one side of the drop cloth into place and staple it. Then pull the opposite side into place, nice and tight, and secure it. Now you can do the two ends, and just work your way down each side, pulling tight and stapling. For neat and tidy corners, it's just like wrapping a present. Pull the middle in and secure it, then fold in one side and staple it. Then the other side. See? Nice and neat. If you want to trim off any excess, you can, or else just staple it down. Once the drop cloth is in place, repeat the process with the fabric you like. This is actually a drapery panel from Lowe's. It's a great inexpensive choice with a lot of style. Now you can put the base onto the bench and attach it with screws. And that's it! For more creative ideas, check us out on Lowe's.com.